All right, folks, how are we doing? So just finished a session there. You've probably seen it in my story. Done 800s. I've uh, done tempo work to start, then 10 800s in, uh, at the end. And, you know, it started smooth. You know, uh, the, the tempo work, I was, you know, I was cruising. I felt good. And I thought, I'm going to, I'm probably going to smash this session. And actually... When I get into the old man leg, starting to move a little bit faster than tempo pace, because this has been my first session, actual, you could say like rep session back. So everything I've been doing just now is for time. So, you know, eight minute thresholds or 20 minute thresholds or, you know, all these sort of time based things. So the pressure isn't as high in terms of like sort of perception where you want to run a distance in a certain time. And today, you know, first rep session, 800 meters and anywhere between 10k pace trying to move down to 5k pace and I thought decent I'll be able to get that done and you know I woke up today warm-up wasn't as good but then the tempo was quite smooth I thought do you know what actually I went for a good gym today done my first rep and I was like maybe these old man legs aren't, aren't up to scratch today but you know um one of my you know, one of, one of my friends, uh, Adam Craig, you know, he, we always chat about how we always try and reach for where we want to be instead of actually training where we're at. And I know that I'm not in sort of sub 30 minute shape for 10k at the moment. So I'm going well, it has to be around sort of 224 to 220, 800 meter reps. And that's, that's where I'm at. Um, so, you know, I train where I'm at today, I sort of let go of where I want to be, um, putting unnecessary pressure on myself. And I think that that's one of the things that maybe trips us up as athletes, as distance runners as well. Always training where we want to be and never where we're at. And, you know, I took that pressure off myself, you know, sort, sort of like a weight jacket lifted off me. And, you know, just enjoyed the session. I had uh, Mr. Tamba on the bike beside me, cheering me on. And... Yeah, just let go of the pressure of trying to be the athlete I once was, you know, before the marathon and things like that. And I just was like, look, mate, just, you need to just run where you're at and that's it. And I enjoyed it. I, I embraced it. You know, I started at, you know, 227, you know, which isn't that fast uh, for the first one. And then I moved into 224s, which is 30 minute pace. Then I moved to 220s, which is around uh, sort of 29, 15 pace. And I'm going... That's plenty fast enough. That right now, you know, I don't, I'm trying to train out a seven and a half out of, you know, eight out of 10. I don't want to go to that nine or 10 out of 10 just now because every time I've done that, my body was breaking down. And, you know, I think we maybe put that pressure on ourselves because then we can post it on Garmin and we can post it on Strava because what other people will think of us and our fitness and, you know, their, I guess, approval, um, I'm kind of just letting all that shit go, you know, people can think that they want and, you know, they can go, oh, I'm better than that or, you know, whatever, it, it is whatever it is, you know, you saw my post from earlier, it's not about what you do in training, it's about what you do when the gun goes and that's predominant, that's all that matters and, you know, chatting to Adam and, you know, other guys in the club, it, you know, it's just really refreshing to, to be a part of something that isn't always, like, it's not always race mode, it's controlled it's it's sensible um you know you're you're working within yourself so that then when it comes to race day you have more to give mentally and physically so you know just probably just giving you my thoughts on you know today and trying to maybe help some people out there that are maybe beating themselves up because they're not training where they want to be just train where you're at you know if it's you know say it's nine minutes for 3k if it's you know 15 minutes for 5k if it's you know 31 31 minutes for 10k you don't always need to run faster you can just run at the pace with still with recoveries and absorb it and not get injured or not get ill or not overtrain. you can still work within yourself it doesn't have to be a pb session every tuesday night every friday or every saturday morning you can just tick the box and roll into the, the next one. If you genuinely feel that you're reaching and reaching and reaching all the time, that can cause an injury, that can cause you feeling a bit burnt out, that can cause you to sort of overtrain and get ill. And during this sort of time, you want to actually be patient because there's not a lot of races going on, there's not a lot of races around for mass participation. So what is the point in 
maybe taking that extra bit of risk and then getting injured on the back end. So hopefully, you know, a lot of people do put a lot of unnecessary pressure on themselves uh, through, you know, my online running clients, Adam's online running clients. We have to, you know, on a weekly basis, just, you know, we need to keep letting them know, just tick the box. Like, it doesn't have to be glamorous. It doesn't have to be you fishing for likes on Strava or Garmin or being king of the mountain or getting trophies and it. Like, you don't win... When you win trophies on Strava, more often than not, you don't win the real ones at the race. So, you know, just keep consistent, stay focused, listen to your coach. They all, they literally, they they will keep you grounded. They will keep you level headed. They'll keep you focused on the rational, and the logical sense instead of maybe the sort of subjective view that you know we have inside our head when we're training. We become quite emotional, whether that's good emotions or bad emotions. So, you know, when you're flying, you think you're unstoppable. You think you're the Terminator. You think that you can do anything. You know, you th oh, I can run faster. Like, oh, it's, it's, it's easy. And then, you know, two, three weeks down the line, I've got Achilles tendonitis. It didn't happen from that session there and then. That was happening two, three weeks ago in the back burner, pushing and pushing and pushing. Whereas a lot of the top athletes just now are ticking the boxes cruising in their sessions still working seven eight eight and a half out of ten but not going ten ten because they don't want to get injured because there's not that many races around and they want to make sure when they've got a four week to six week window when they know there's a race going on they start up in the ante then so you know it's all about staying injury free staying healthy staying consistent staying disciplined and just turning up and ticking those boxes hope this helps anybody with a sort of that mindset of you know, that anxiousness of always trying to better themselves every single week. Just take a wee step back, take a wee chill pill. And, you know, I was that athlete, so it works for me now. Uh, 16, 17 weeks now, consistently on the trot. It's the longest run I've had since the marathon in 2019. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, and hopefully it helps somebody out there. All right. You guys have a good weekend and I will see you later.